Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I've got a big news update for you today related to interest rates, inflation, layoffs, and new funding opportunities, including some SSBCI and EIDL news. But I want to start with the big layoff news and what we can expect in the coming months when it comes to jobs and the economy, and then end with the funding update. Thanks so much for tuning in and subscribing if you're new. And if you support the research our team does day in and day out to bring you this important news, do us a favor, hit the like button or share this video with a friend. Let's dive in. Let's start with the layoffs first. As many of you know, Elon Musk has been in charge of Twitter for just under two weeks, laid off about half of the Twitter staff. Last Friday, it's over 3,000 employees. There were a lot of other layoffs last week, including from Lyft, Chime, and other companies. Here's the headline from the Times. Roughly half of the company's workforce, or about 3,700 jobs, had been eliminated. Four people with knowledge of the matter said. The cuts hit across many divisions, including engineering and machine learning teams, trust and safety teams, and sales and advertising departments. It's rare that this deep a cut happens at a company period, but certainly within the first week of a new CEO taking over. If you have an opinion on that, feel free to weigh in in the comments. Plus this week, because more layoffs are expected in the coming weeks, even Meta, aka Facebook, is planning significant job cuts this week. According to this report, it's unclear how many people may be cut this week at Facebook, but Meta has around 87,000 employees. That's up from 28% a year ago. And Meta has been struggling financially for months and has been increasingly clamping down on costs. And I think we'll see more of this in the coming weeks and months. As companies, big and small, tighten their belts, they look at the bottom line, to cut costs, extend their runway or profitability, depending on what situation they're in. And some experts think this is going to continue. However, when we look at the GDP data for the past three quarters, take a look right here, down in Q1, down in Q2, up in Q3. This is the percent change from the preceding quarter. So Q3 did better than Q2 from the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis. However, most people think this does not mean we are out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. Companies are still going to continue to make layoffs, and we may see this contracted economy for the next few quarters, maybe up until a year from now. A lot of that is dependent on what the Fed does with interest rates. We know they raised last month 0.75%. They have another meeting in December where they're going to have to decide what to do with interest rates. And guess what? We're going to learn a lot about what they may do this Thursday when the Labor Department releases its October Consumer Price Index, a reading of U.S. inflation that has continually been high. It's been above 8% for the past few months. So we're going to see what the October reading is later this week. That's going to give a strong signal to the Fed on what they should do. We expect it's still going to be high. If I had to guess, I'd say it's still going to be around 8%. And that's going to determine what the Fed does with interest rates in December. There's basically only two options here. Basically, whether it will be 0.75% interest rate increase or 0.5%. At the last meeting, they hinted it may be the lower option. Either way, it's a fairly narrow band of outcomes with the total interest rates either being 5% or 5.5%. Either way, that's not good for markets. Currently, it's expected that rates will be held at around 4.5% to 5.5% for much of 2023. That will affect everything, prices, borrowing, borrowing for yourself, borrowing for your business, other financing, mortgages, which leads into the last part of today's video on funding, what's out there, what's available for you if you're still looking for funding for yourself or for your business and you want to put yourself in a strong foundation. I always talk about this. If there's uncertainty in your business through the end of this year going into 2023, think about strategically how you can put yourself in a stronger position. Of course, one of those ways is to have capital in the bank in case things don't work out like you've planned for. Well, first on EIDL, this came out last week. SBA says no EIDL applications are still considered outstanding. The flip side is there's two pieces of good news. One, the SBA 
is planning to make an announcement about EIDL repayments that may come later this week. So if you're one of the 4 million EIDL borrowers, this will certainly be relevant for you as we get into more and more repayments. This is going to be important news. So when that becomes public, we're going to share it here. That may help some of you. The second is SSBCI funding. There are now 10 states that are accepting applications, over 30 states that have been approved for funding. If you are in one of these 10 states, and you can go to helloskip.com slash SSBCI to get alerts and then see this blog post of all the states, A through Z, and where they're at. So go do that. But here are the states currently accepting applications, Colorado, Hawaii, Kansas, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Montana, Pennsylvania, and South Carolina. Plus the new state is Minnesota. Minnesota is now accepting SSBCI applications. So if you're in one of those states and you need help, get in touch with us helloskip.com slash join. Choose the VIP or platinum option where we can help you apply for these programs and other funding as well. And even if you're not in one of those 10 states, get in touch with us today because this funding is very limited. If you're curious about this funding and other programs, helloskip.com slash join and use the invite code rider invite or better yet, the link in the description because every state has funding that they've applied for. Most states have been approved and these are options worth considering, especially if you need capital for your business. So that's today's update. We've got a lot of great videos coming out this week. Thanks so much for subscribing, turning on alerts and hitting the like button. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.